Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, React and Chill. I'm Dika. So, last time on Loki, um, we had a little bit of an opening scene where we saw um, the variant. Um, it was just like a, a medieval type. Um, I know what they are, sort of cosplay type thing. Uh, the Minutemen went there to were tracking down the variant, tracked it down, and then the um, variant used some sort of like spell or something to take over the mind of the Minuteman person, kidnapped that particular Minuteman, um, and um, going by the name of C20, so C20 is missing, and um, take the reset charges. We also found out that that's what they were collecting, all the uh, reset charges while working with Mobius and obviously wanted to prove his worth, did find out, obviously find out his file, found out what happened um, in Asgard, obviously Ragnarok, but he was able to use his clever Loki brains and figure out that the variant was hiding in doomsdays, in apocalypses. They used that to be able to track down using the candy back to a particular uh, place in time when we finally came face to face with the variant. We also found out that the variant is a lady, which Again, I wasn't so surprised because um, Loki has the ability to be, from the comics, gender fluid. Um, and we've had so many versions of Loki, I wasn't, it, I was not, it's not that I did not expect so there to be a female version to exist if we're talking about different variants of this Loki existing. So once that Loki triggered all the um, reset charges that they were stealing, uh, they started blowing up the sacred timelines, different points of the sacred timeline. So basically creating in, in excess loads of Nexus events, which essentially will disrupt the sacred timeline, creating multiverses. And I'm sure that's being set up for something much bigger. And at the end, Loki chased the other Loki out of the time gate portal. So basically the portal they used to go back. I forgot what it's called. Oh, I forgot to mention when they when they when they found C20 the st stolen. The Minuteman that was um, kidnapped, kept saying stolen. The Minuteman that was kidnapped, um, they were under something. Like it's, it's, it, they were almost shocked. Like they saw something. I don't know what it happened, but it's almost like they saw something. It's like, oh my god, it's all real. They kept repeating, and then um, we found out that particular Minuteman had disclosed the location of the Timekeepers. So I'm assuming that's where the variant is on her way to. That particular the location of the timekeepers or wherever they're going back through that portal um i wonder what they see or what they overcame or what had happened once they break out of that so it's very interesting to see that um oh yes and the other thing is mobius and loki had a conversation where loki oh no sorry mobius tells loki that the timekeepers had created everything they know everything the beginning middle and once they are aware of the end essentially the end of time mobius will be dictated to that so the timekeepers had created Mobius. Everything he knows was created and he was existent in the TVA. This all being timekeepers, I feel like there's more to them. Whether that's good or bad, it's not been yet disclosed. But I can't wait for the next episode. And here we are with episode three, Lamentis. Okay, ask. How many people are guarding the timekeepers? Oh. She's trying to gain her trust every time and obviously she she stops herself but she doesn't even realise. Oh, clever. Yeah, she, yeah, she had it under a glamour or a, an illusion. No gold. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's at the TVA. Yes, his daggers from the locker. Oof. Ow. Oof. She is savage. Oh my god. Questions. Have you really got nothing else better to do? Rude. <laughs> oh. You need to be careful. I feel like this is like. Loki being a variant, he's not, say, he's still 2012 variant. I mean, 2012 Loki. This Loki looks like a very experienced fighter. Oof. Oh, yes, he... Oh, lucky. Fine. For my next trick, I'll need you 
<laughs> so Lady Loki doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to have the this sort of trick. But 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 I just realised something. Wasn't Loki's adoptive mother? Oh, not a witch, but she had these powers. Technically, she would have been the one to have raised Loki, to have used these uh, tricks. Now, is this where we diverge in the in the Lokis, the differences? Because this one knows how to fight, and like, is she still a frost giant? There's so many questions. Oh my god. Oh, Lamentis one. I swear to god, this was like a Doctor Who adventure. <laughs> to really do that to him. You're trying to enchant me. <laughs> it won't work. Do you have it hidden in my heart? Well then I'll cut it out. Nice. Very dry. The plan you interrupted was years in the making. Okay. Years. Okay. What's the plan? There's a town near here. And can you shut up? Just because I have to work with you doesn't mean I want to hear your voice. I'm Sylvie now. Force is no substitute for diplomacy and guile. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Sorry about that. Nothing. I enjoyed it. Oh, I, I did too. <laughs> oh, dear. Intrigued? Mm. It's been a long time. It's gonna shoot him too. Bang. Is this the way it was told? Everything okay? Everything's fine. Yeah, I just remembered that headquarters radioed in the request for them this morning. FYI, that wasn't even a plan. Oh, really? Plans have multiple steps. Dressing as a guard and getting on the train is just doing a thing. You sure she was your mother? <laughs> uh, no, she's not actually. I was adopted. A bit of a spoiler for you. Sorry about that. No, I knew I was adopted. What? Where'd you learn to do that? Taught yourself that magic. Yeah, I did. Interesting. So Sylvie taught herself how to enchant people, but Loki doesn't have that sort of power. His magic was taught to him by Frigga. I see. Is there a lucky bow waiting for you at the end of this crusade? Yeah, there is actually. Oh. How about you? Or perhaps another friend? Mm. A bit of both. I suspect the same as you. Oh. But A few moments later. That's a thought it. Sir, can I see your tickets? You again. Hello. Nice one. Sylvie, Loki likes to talk and Sylvie likes to throw hands. She's like, I chew violence every time. You stop it. Ow. Finish him. Jack the Ark and make 
make sure it gets off this move. I mean, sounds like a good idea to me. I feel like I've told you so much about making it. I really don't know the first thing about you. It's a tactical advantage. A young soldier from the TVA. Her mind was messed up, everything clouded. What did you say? Before she joined the TVA? Yeah, she was just a regular person on Earth. A regular person? Oh, so she wasn't created there like apparently what Mobius said. Oh. That's ridiculous. They're all variants, just like us. Oh, it changes everything. Do we trust each other? We do. We can. Oh my god. You better run. Oh. I really like this shot of how they're like. Ooh, watch out. Oh, nice. got destroyed after all of that what happens now so that was episode three lamentus now we have found out a lot of good stuff a lot of very interesting things first and foremost lady loki <laughs> likes to call herself sylvie um and um once she escaped that shopping center place Loki had followed her back to the TVA where she was out kicking ass literally and taking names. Now this Loki, sorry, Sylvie has trained to be fighting. Um, the Minutemen, she knew it, like she was literally kicking ass uh, because she was able to find the location of uh, the Minutemen from, sorry, the location of the Timekeepers from C20, the Minuteman. It was almost that like she actually like, put her under an enchantment like a spell which in that moment in time she was like you know the place looks familiar but you don't look familiar like you, you're not which i will talk about in a minute they use the temp pad so the temp pad that sylvie had she had put apocalypses in there and then in the midst of um running away from the guards and everything they transported over to lamentus one it was gonna crush it. She said, out of all the po apocalypses, this is the worst one because nobody survives this. We did also find out that Sylvie doesn't have the same um, abilities as Loki. Obviously, Loki was um, adopted by Odin and Frigga, and Frigga, um, I forgot, she wasn't an, like an enchantress, she wasn't a witch, but she taught Loki the spells and stuff, so that's how he was able to do that. I, I thought that Loki could do the same thing as, um, Sylvie, but he couldn't. He could only enchant people like that or um, take over their bodies when he had the Septim that had the Infinity Stone. So that's the only time he could do that. I didn't realize that. He does have other abilities, but he, um, he can't do what Sylvie did. And obviously, Sylvie does cannot do what Loki did. Um, we also found that Sylvie was, Syl Sylvia? Sylvia was aware that she was adopted, um, and there was something she was feeling when Loki, they were got onto the train and Loki was singing the songs in Asgardian. So she says that she barely remembers her mother. I don't know if her mother was a frost giant, was Frigga, was somebody else, depending on what part of the timeline or what type of variant she is or where, what alternative universe she comes from. So I'm not sure who her mother was she was referring to, but she definitely felt some sort of sadness or some type of way. I'm not sure if it was sadness or if it was anger or remorse she was feeling when Loki was uh, singing. So um, she had mentioned to Loki also that um, when they were when she was telling him about how she did the enchantment and, t and telling him how she basically creates um, a, she creates a fantasy um, she creates a fantasy from a memory. She mentions that everyone in the TVA were variants and that the TVA, by the means she made it sound like they're much more worse, like everyone was a variant. She'd been on the run, so the plan that Loki happened to ruin was in the making for many, many years, so she's been on the run from the TVA. Because time works 
differently. I'm not sure when the TVA would have picked up Sylvie's movement, but she's been on the run from them uh, for a long time. I'm not sure how long. And she was talking about how um, that particular C20 Minuteman that she enchanted was from Earth many, like, hundreds of years ago. They just... Um, it was it was a variant, which, like I said, explains what I said at the beginning of this, about how, about how when the C20 said that the place looks familiar, but you're not in this memory, you don't look familiar. She also mentioned how the C20's brain was clouded, and that it's completely messed up, which goes on to, is are they being controlled? So is the TVA using these variants, wiping, restoring parts of their memory, or, or repressing? Another thing is, like she mentioned, no one escapes from the planet because... Um, he says that, no, sorry, Sylvie said that the Ark, so the ship that were all boarding that was meant to leave the planet, ends up being destroyed. So their plan was to get to the ship to stop it from being destroyed and therefore um, being able to... Um, oh, the temp pad got destroyed. But originally they were looking to charge it um, because they need, didn't have enough power and they were hoping to charge it on the train slash use the ship to charge it. So yes, they were going to try and stop the ship from being destroyed but that was something completely out of their control because the ship was hit by one of the falling debris so that's where the episode ended they're both stuck god knows how they're gonna get off part of me thinking there might be another variant or another version of loki maybe down there which is interesting this was such a good episode because we had that bit of banter going back and forth oh my god the two person loki pers like sylvie and loki personalities bickering we had brains which were Loki and then we had the brawn which is Sylvie because she was ready to throw hands at every opportunity um, I would love to get more of Sylvie's um, backstory but, like um, she she mentioned the TVA were fascists uh, controlling so again I wonder the TVA aren't necessarily as good or as all-knowing as they say they are should I say the timekeepers because timekeepers essentially create the TVA now this makes sense as to why that guy might have not known I thought because the the, the timekeepers had created them he may not know what fish was because he had no idea what fish was but now if he was a variant they could have just completely deleted his memory or put a memory in there they've got such power and part of me is thinking what if Loki another variant of Loki is the timekeeper which would be crazy to find out. You know, he was, there was another time people will see. I've got a feeling we'll see somebody, uh, a familiar character, maybe somebody across the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, somebody across Marvel that's going to appear on Lamentis. So now that the ship was destroyed, our Slayer, I forgot her first name, but our Slayer, how she said that the timekeepers are specifically monitoring this case. So. Um, is that because Sylvie's involved? Is it because Loki's involved? I feel like Loki has a much bigger part to play. It would be very interesting to find out what that part is. Um, but I'm, I can't wait. This Obviously, this episode was a bit of a cliffhanger. I wonder if they'll be able to get off Lamentis, hopefully. Uh, somebody will be... Lamentis 1, sorry. I'm hoping we see someone else. Somebody might pop up. And something I've, I forgot to note last time, the fact that now the... Um, timeline the sacred timeline has been hit or been blown up and then you're getting all those nexus events creating the multiverses is this gonna lead to i don't know like dr strange and the multiverse of madness oh oh well, that's it for this week thank you so much let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and as always like subscribe and i'll see you guys next time